Bellinger standing next to Fletch and Katie Simmers is starting to light this one up. There's her down carve. By Boley section, hammers it on the second effort. Lays it down again. The Californian hits it off the lip and shuts it down. Caitlin Simmers has gone from strength to strength. Every time she stands up, it only gets better. I've got goosebumps. Ah. Wow. Let's take a look at the straight on angle, Richie. Oh, I love this first turn, just drives through it with so much power. Straight back off the bottom, jams it with a little layback hack. Comes around for a third, really aggressive on this wave and tags the finish. So what an incredible ride. Advantage going straight to Caitlin Simmers here. Have a look at the technique, Rosie. Yeah, and I, oh. I love her positioning. I think the way that she's bottom turning around that white water and really laying it on edge. There's a lot of push at lows when it's this size and on these uh, particular waves. And Katie just places her man maneuvers in the right place. Four waves ridden for Chianka. Five waves ridden from Robinson. Here comes Joao. Setting up a beautiful lowers wall. Lays into that first turn. Sets it up with some speed, blasting wow. the fin free and controlling it beautifully. Looking to shut it down. That was Sensational ride there. Grimmer celebrates. A good size set wave too here. I mean, first turn, that's a big section. It's an important section. He lays into it. And that's that swallowtail. Digs in right there in that little crease. And then this one even bigger with the release. I thought it was gone out from under his feet. And then had to finish late there, but he pulls it off. This could be the best number of the heat. What about this angle, Rich? Yeah, I love this angle. You really see the critical nature of the turn, the whole bottom of the board on display. And then the second one was even stronger, more power, and uh, gets that little drift through the second half of the turn. Watch here. Now he gets the release, jams it so hard, completely engulfed by the lip as he comes down. Gets the hair out of the way, and then uh, gets back onto that bottom turn. That was mental. But look at that uh, it, that expression in the turn. And again, we've talked about it time and time again. That back arm laying it into the into the wave face acts as a pivot point. You're almost grabbing onto the wall. He literally almost fell right there. His back foot came off the pad, and he was able to get it back on. He almost hit it too. Ethan Ewing rolls in, snaps off the top there. One oh. more time. Look at the rail work by Ethan Ewing. Coming around here, and a dynamic, powerful fish rides out from the whitewater. Double E is on fire. Gotta love an exchange where you get to see the punch. I mean, that was a um, distinct difference in my eyes. You can feel it. You felt those turns. And he had his board position, and the way that he, he set up that first snap and then went into that huge gouge, it was one of the most beautiful tempoed waves I've seen so far today. Uh, and I'd like to make a little comment to Pete. Pete, I think you gotta check the buoys. So I think we've got a peak in the swell maybe this morning, because right now the waves are the perfect size and they've calmed down and it's actually gotten to that, pay, that pace and that place that we want to see here for the finals. And I feel like it's just getting better and better. Even though it's a little smaller, I feel like the wave faces are better and better and more controllable for the surfers. Yeah, well, I will say the tide is dropping out. It's not a huge difference in tides. It's actually kind of an ebb tide. But again, I think, uh, you know, looking at the buoys, they're pretty solid still as well. But that surfing right there, Rich, incredible. Uh, I, and I got to apologize. I'm starting to grunt and stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm moved by this style of surfing. No, you know, that's it's, what it it's is, though, absolutely right? incredible. And uh, one thing that Ethan has added is that tiny little release at the end of that carve that he does. And it's just spiced it up a little bit. And the judges are taking note of that as well. Not as many bobbles when we got to see those two exchanges on the replay. And that's so, part and of the speed, power, and flow element. Ethan here, wave number three. That's the power part, Pete. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> that's Christ. the flow there of Ethan Ewing. And one more time, speed, wow. power, flow. You talked about it, Pete. Yeah. You just showed it to us. Again, I mean, he's just, just an extra... <laughs> I hate that adjective, but it is. It's exactly what it is. Wow. You're watching the most efficient surfer on the tour at the moment in terms of body movement, board positioning. That was just an incredible second turn, wrapped it all the way around. And like you said, Pete, he actually accelerated through it. He hit the gas, put on the turbo boosters, and uh, just jams it in there. You can see the back arm. He pivots around it uh, and just gaffs the entire wave to pieces. And uh, watch, look at the upper body efficiency here. Keeps it nice and quiet. Now he gets the extension here. 
This back arm wraps it all the way through. And that just, it's almost like he's leaning on the accelerator as that, as that back arm comes around. He compresses and uh, sets his eyes on that next section there. Keeps that snowboarding uh, element going where he keeps those arms out in front of him and then just crazy layback hack on that final turn. Completely disengages all the fins, wraps it straight back under him, out clean. Caroline Marks winding up one of the best backhand approaches on tour, belts it off the lip with a fan to the sky. Whitewater on the face, but she'll, she'll jam the second turn. Third maneuver, it's a massive sweep in the closeout section. Great surfing for Caroline Marks. Beautiful display of backhand turns, and a goofy footer is gonna be happy about that as Strider. It's next level. It's, I've never seen anything like it out here, and I love it, and I, I think uh, surfing is very healthy right now. Let me tell you, it's insane. <laughs> You're healthy too, Waz, as we see your vision with all those fans off the top. Rosie, what'd you see from the front angle? Wow, just a bigger wave. It just offered her the opportunity to get vertical on those first two approaches. Even though there was white water on this face, she cuts it so well with that rail line and really finishes off strong. So I think this is gonna be the best wave of the heat so far in my mind, just watching the critical crispness of those backhand maneuvers, the way she squared it off the bottom. But watch that board just chatter. There was a lot of texture to work with as she's moving through the face of that wave, Richie. Yeah, no, you, the, the, all the bump, courtesy of all that foam there and the way she was able to stay crisp and clean through the maneuvers, uh, you know, that's just incredible. Uh, the way she executed that three really strong maneuvers. This set coming through, it's Caroline Marks rolling in. The goofy foot, big bottom turn, nice clean carve. Whips it right off the bottom again, throwing some water off that rail. Winds up vertical and crushes it. Now anticipating a finish, backhand snap float, she stomps it. <laughs> There's everybody cheering on. Caroline representing Florida, but she's been adopted as part of the locals here. Yeah, just so impressive. If I'm hypercritical, she could have gone a little bit more vertical on that first crack. Second one, same thing. It kind of just pushed her down the line, but here's where the wave get inter it gets interesting and super fun to watch as she stabs it vertically off the top and then gets that kind of float off the last section. That's going in her top two. That was an amazing wave and one of the best of the heat so far. Yeah, she had a lot of space on this uh, right here to really open up. And one of the difficult things to do on your backhand is bring some variety, and that's what Caroline did on this one. Each turn was a little bit different. This third one in particular, it was uh, done in a really critical moment on the wave. Watch how steep it is here. Beautiful technique, gets nice and vertical, almost snaps under the lip there, spray just flying to the heavens. And uh, Caroline just uh, really finishing it off strong here. You can see her just sitting on that bottom turn, throws it up again onto the lip, drifts down under that turbulent whitewash, and what a score. She's almost smiling through that last hack on the inside. Caroline knows what a big score feels like. Ethan on his opener against Griffin Colapinto. Smooth as oh. it gets off the bottom. Carved the tail release. Belts it vertically. In motion to shut it down again. Ethan has been sensational today. Doesn't need a warm up. It was kind of crazy. The crowd was silent on that one, Pete. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, as expected. I mean, considering that the uh, crowd is 99% in favor of Griffin Cole Pinto, but the surfing here is exceptional. And he's bringing an X Factor in his car, in his same style and approach. Yeah. And I just got word that this board here is actually a board that is built with epoxy resin, but a polyurethane core, which uh, I, DHD had to text him, hey, what's your theory behind this? He's getting more spring, more feel out of it. It's not gonna feel like that jittery feel that a styrofoam core will give you. He'll get kind of right in the middle of a, a PU board yeah. and an epoxy style board, and it looks like it's going uh, really good. A lot of stability on that board right there, and I, it obviously looks like it's working great too, but I think his wave selection has been on point. He shared surfing with the globe, including Australians, where he has statues all over the world. So, for short, we can call it the Duke from here on out. Uh, freshwater, right? Freshwater Beach. That's right. 13.30 to go. The kid from Strati sets up that big open face hook. Driving into another big wrapping cutback. And shuts it down beautifully. No mistakes from Ethan Ewing. Buttery transitions. Considering how much speed he's carrying, it doesn't look like he's ever trying to get it. It's just always there for him. You know, punch it off the bottom, and that's all about technique. That's about where his body placement is. It's about equipment, so good on DHD. Griffin Colapinto is going to have the crowd on their feet. Local boy rolls into his first turn. 
Twisted wrap on that first section. Belts it again in the pocket. Great transition for the vertical foam climb. Every celebration for Griff is emotional as he looks up to the sky. A man that's not afraid to be vulnerable. Check out his last wave, Pete. How beautiful was this wave? I mean, it had just this nice little gra glassy crinkles on the face and two beautiful hacks and a straight up vertical hit to finish. Nice size wave that makes for bigger critical sections. And I feel like this is going to be Griffin's best wave. Uh, beautiful work too. See how he whips through it. He actually drives his arm through that last move. Gets it down nicely, keeping it nice and paced too, because you almost feel like in this situation, you'd be too rushed. You're almost like, I got to do something right. super dynamic, super huge. He didn't, he just made it happen nice and smooth. That move up there glides up and over. See how his body had to extend to get up and over it. And he did it, and I love the passion. Crosby starting to hold his breath. Next turn goes to Ethan Ewing. Whips it quickly, oh hammers it. And then throws a vertical Whoa. climb to shut it down. Whoa. His worst score in this heat's a seven. That's gone. Counting a couple of big eights. And Ethan Ewing is just getting better and better in front of our eyes, Pete. It could change the heat. It could turn the heat. But this one right here feels like another score for Ethan Ewing. I mean, big driving turn there. And then this snap, hoofing it. Just incredible. I actually think the time off might have been beneficial to his surfing. I mean, just a refresher. Your body's getting some rest. A few weeks ago, he didn't even know if he was going to be able to surf. And next thing you know, is able to come here to Lower Trestles. You get that social media clip, and he's a contender. I mean, look at the commitment to that turn right there. The amount of difficulty and the progression element, as you were mentioning, Joe, on rail on the face of the wave. And that is a crucial turn right there at the end, too. It is difficult to go up and over the lip line like well, that. Pipeline to begin the year. She took out Tyler Wright. Margaret Rivers, she took out Tyler again, and she beat Caroline this lady, Marks. Caroline Marks, at the surf ranch. But here we go with Marksy on the first wave. Look at that carve on the backhand. Off the bottom, off the top again. This is a good looking start for the goofy foot. Hangs through there, and the advantage, Rosie. A clear advantage on that opening exchange to Caroline Marks. Through the matchups, Caroline has been getting eights. That excellent score with the three turn combo. Those opening first snatches were some of the best that I've seen from Caroline. Here, Caroline has the pick of it with that priority. That first maneuver, beautiful. Watch as that spray hits the water out the back. The bottom turn, top turn setup for Caroline is so crispy and on point. Her timing is great. I love that second turn. The first turn was kind of lateral, and then that third a little bit hung up. So I wonder how the judges, the judges have told us they're going to be pretty critical on every little um, element of your surfing. But this is, I mean, you can't fault the surfing that Caroline's doing at the moment. That second turn for me yeah. was everything. She took two angles on that bottom turn as well. She kind of came up horizontally and then went straight up in vertical. Slid the tail even, that's an element of progression. I mean, take a look at it and watch what's happening here. I mean, Caroline Marks has been ripping on these boards and looking like they're glued to your feet. Like, what are you doing to the equipment here to, to get her to surf this well? We have definitely wow. Her hair wet. She's out there picking the best waves, doing the best surfing. I love, you know, just that technique. I think the, the uh, backhand affords you the opportunity to come around that white water and really lean into all of those maneuvers. But she definitely has upped the ante in this heat. Like the. That 8.43, just the energy level that you're showing on every maneuver there, to me, was impressive. There's two maneuvers on this wave that I think stood out so much more than other waves. Look at this one right here. Look at how precise that floater over that section is. And she keeps her speed down the line to be able to get a few more in after this. The flow, the precision, but I think more importantly, the patience on this wave really paid off for Caroline Marks. As good as it gets right there, Kaipo, back-to-back matches with at least 17 points on the board. Felipe Toledo, wave number two in this title match. Razor sharp on the first carve. The pump off the bottom, throws it out there, stomps it into the flats, stands up. Right on the back reel, quickly, Rich. Talk us through this replay. Wow, this first opening carve to, like, I mean, it's just sizzling, you know. He's just turbo boost through that. And then just throws the giant air reverse, full rotation. And uh, whenever you see Felipe stand tall like that, you know he's absolutely stoked in it. But this opening carve, look at the extension of the upper body. Gets the wings right out. Uh, that up, you know, the upper body just leading the, the lower body gets centered again, pumping down the line, hits the lip absolutely perfectly, already starting the rotation as he launches. And uh, yeah, well, it was just about a 360 degree rotation. It was probably about 340, but uh, incredible maneuvers. 
Yeah, and standing proud for the finish, Felipe Toledo. Ewing behind him, Ewing behind him oh, with a fierce first carve, comes around this corner. Layback, power, half, and what? How is this exchange once again, Peter Miller? Oh, giggling. I am. I'm living. How can you not enjoy this? I mean, literally, that's what we are here for. And these two are going head to head, <laughs> battling it out, and that was awesome. Ethan Ewing on the rail. How cooking is the waves? It just has smoothed out and it's just butter and these guys are going ballistic that was a beautiful two-turn combo I and mean, there was progression in that style of move for ethan ewing especially at the closeout where he picks that as we see this is the judge's angle here but look at this underneath turn ah, just to, you know again giggles coming flying out of me how could you not Finn's skipping out on that first turn. So powerful from Ethan Ewing. So we're waiting for how this exchange turns out. We get to analyze this now, Rich, in slow motion. Just, uh, you know, gets those fins free. Just gets all that release at uh, the, the fourth quarter of the turn. And again, this is the one where he goes to the layback hack, just jamming it around that pivot point. The tail of the board's pointing towards the beach at that stage. And then he somehow just wrangles it around back under his feet again. Uh, look, the uh, okay, now let's put a critical uh, eye on this now. Rich, talk to me about endurance and fatigue, because uh, this was, uh, Ethan surfed 13 waves, right? This is only Felipe Toledo's fourth wave ridden with Toledo. Again, lots of control on the rail of the sharp eye. Throws it up, puts it down, spins it around, and he's got more. Skips that section, but power, full slash. A little bigger wave here for Felipe. Yeah, Ethan's wave held its height the whole way down, so projection, manoeuvre to start things off, a big opening car back into the power pocket for Felipe. Now he gets that progressive turn. Big out of the lip, rotation, bringing it down the line, and then a layback hack to finish off, and then the flex. Wow, again, comparison-wise, I mean, uh, they're different styles of waves, but I mean, the progressive element from Felipe on the outside section, the beautiful arcing car, but, but that wave was kind of turned out the channel a little bit, so it wasn't as steep on the face as we saw from Ethan Ewing's, but this turn here, just beautiful, up and over, the nose pick, and he comes out so clean. It's like, you to get in your board off balance, no, no worries for him. His footwork, impeccable. Be able to get back on his board and go straight into another car. He was actually readjusting his feet before he'd actually even set the line back on the board again, and, you know, that's just... It's instinctual for him. Yeah. It's not something that you can you can really practice too much. Or, Jump rope, or, or, maybe. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> so, Rich, I was I was talking about you know the endurance and fatigue that may be happening with yeah. Ethan Ewing at this moment. He's ridden 14 waves so far today. Talk about the slash here, Ethan Ewing with a couple of slashes of his own, and we come to the end of Ethan's ride. Again, an incredible exchange, Rich. It's so much variety, Pete. Yeah, well, look at it. I mean, again, back out to the car. The release comes out of it. No worries. Into another beautiful section. A little at a different angle in the approach. And again, a big layback snap to finish. And somehow was able to climb that whitewater.